This is the beautiful Champagne region of France, an area intrinsically linked with the glamorous world of Grand Prix racing. The story of why Champagne is so synonymous to Grand Prix racing dates back to the 1950s and actually one of the fastest street circuits that the sport has ever visited. And that would be Reims, or Reims, or actually someone said it's Reims. Whatever. In 1926, the winner of the Rhin Grand Prix was handed a bottle of the local produce as a gift, and so began the most famous racing tradition ever. Basically, Rhin Circuit was a 7.8 kilometer triangle built for one purpose only, going fast. With an average lap speed in the 1960s reaching 145 miles an hour, this makes Reem one of the fastest street circuits of all time. Despite the track being so popular with drivers and fans, the circuit was closed in 1969. But I've heard that you can go and still drive the route. So I'm gonna to head to Reem and try and find this legendary place. But my little Parisian hire car just isn't up for the job. I'm going to need something a little bit more special. The Ford GT40. It's won more prestigious race events than any other car of its type in history and still remains one of the most stunning and recognizable road race cars ever. It has an intoxicating combination of looks, power, noise, and raw ability that few race cars have bettered. This beautiful car only came about for one reason. Henry Ford II desperately wanted a car that could win the Le Mans 24-hour race. And after a brief full start in its first race in 1965, the GT40 went on to dominate the next four Le Mans 24-hour races, cementing the car's legendary reputation in the process. The GT40 was actually the last car to win the 12-hour here at Reim before the circuit closed. So it's quite apt that I'm driving this fabulous car to this legendary racetrack. But I have to say that some eagle-eyed viewers out there might have already seen that, uh, yes, this is indeed a replica. Real GT40s are so rare they can go for up to five million pounds, driving this replica and finding out just how accurate it is. You don't have many mod cons in here, no air conditioning, nothing like that. You've got this ginormous five-litre engine right behind you, and uh, you get very, very toasty. But when you're driving such a stunning car, you can kind of forget about these little things. driving along and you'll see this massive great big grandstand but I can't see anything as of yet. Hang on, is that it? Oh wow it is. have just spotted the most ginormous leaderboard for the crowds. All the guys up there changing all the times. It's very cool. Wow, so this was the, uh, the VIP restaurant. And um, 
I can see why this was the fastest road circuit in the world. That has to be one of the longest pit straights. They must have been crazy speeds. Unbelievable. So that was the press grandstand, and then this was where all the spectators were. Must have been outrageous when it was fully packed. And here comes the Ford Transit van, followed by the Laguna. Come on, Sterling! But now, no petrol head pilgrimage here would be complete without a lap of the circuit. And it just so happens that the start-finish straight is closed to the public today. Here we go. The flag's waving. And it's dropped! circuit, I found myself on what is now a motorway. And then we're joined yet another strip. It's more like a drag strip. There's a roundabout here, but of course, that wouldn't have been around in the days. straight 